20 years goes by way faster than you think. This is the 20th summer that I have been in professional wrestling. This is my uh, 20th year anniversary. And so what I wanted to do to celebrate is do a little recap for the new boobies that might not know things about your boy. Um, so I started wrestling right after I graduated high school in 2004. Went off to college and I went to Furman University, which we had school five days a week, Monday through Friday. And with that schedule, I was working the Indies still um, three to four nights a week all throughout college. Senior year, I end up debuting in TNA at Bound for Glory, which is their WrestleMania, um, as R Truth's random friend to help him <laughs> defend the tag titles against AJ Styles and Tomko. That leads to me being offered a TNA contract. I know. We can talk about it later. Um, but I had like six months left in college, and I knew that I couldn't keep my grades up if I took this schedule. And so in like the hardest decision that I had to make in my life up to then, I called Jeff Jarrett and I said, I want to sign this. This is my goal to get into a major company before I graduate college. And I did it, but I can't finish school, so I can't sign this. He goes, how about a half schedule? I said, of course, that's great. Sign the deal. I'm in TNA. I watched my TNA Impact debut in my apartment with my roommates in college, losing our minds that I had actually achieved the dream. So I graduate college. I'm in TNA full time. Do my first overseas tour. I'm making memories with people. Uh, win the tag titles with Jay Lethal. I have a blast in TNA, except for Main Event Mafia beating the crap out of us all the time. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I ended up getting released, which ended up being great because I got to go be in the Super 8. I got to go be in New Japan for a hot second. Then 2010, I get signed to WWE, and I go to Tampa, Florida to be in FCW. Again, it's great. We're wrestling every single day. We're working out. This is our job. I win the tag titles with Wes Briscoe. I'm loving life. Eventually, Triple H comes in. He says, guys, we're moving to Orlando. We're going to make this place called the Performance Center, and we're going to call it NXT. And we're going to show you shows at Full Sail. Uh, they take a handful of us. And we go to this new building, which is going to be the Performance Center, and we have sledgehammers, and we literally break down the walls inside this building so that it can be what it is today. You're welcome, NXT kids. Have fun training there. Um, then I get called up to the main roster in, like, 2013, and I actually debut, again, as R-Truth's random friend. Um, and for, like, a year, I'm just kind of floating around, not really happy, not fulfilled, and I, I just want to do more. And so that's when I go to Kofi and E, and I make the new day. And we go on, as you guys have seen, to have this crazy uh, Hall of Fame career. Honestly, the most decorated tag team in the history of the company. Um, things that we've gotten to do in the ring, outside of the ring. It has been a freaking blast. And we're just blessed to be able to do so many incredible things. And uh, I've been able to see my brothers, Big E and Kofi, both go on to become heavyweight champion. I got to fulfill my boyhood dream of becoming king of the ring. And uh, the reason that was so important to me is because th through the entirety of my career, there are certain doors that have been closed to me by myself. And I always figured that winning King of the Ring was my way to then open those doors that I could previously not get into. But I ended up winning King of the Ring and all of those doors were still shut to me for whatever reason. And so 20 years deep, there's, there's still things that I want to do. There's still things that I, things that I have to do, honestly. And at the top of that list is becoming a singles champion in WWE. Um, I gotta prove to myself that I can do it. I have to.